Now tomorrow is a nationally recognized event, and if you can't make it to a drop-off spot, you do have other options. Either way, getting rid of those meds is important. Mandy Gaither explains. It's a public health crisis. The drug overdose epidemic in the U.S. led to more than 112,000 deaths being reported in a 12-month period ending in May, according to the latest estimates from the CDC. And the numbers keep rising. Narcotics, opiates obviously are an obvious problem uh, for people. And unused prescription drugs that are thrown in the trash can be retrieved, abused, or illegally sold. One reason it's critical to properly dispose of them, and that's not all. If there's stuff in your medicine cabinet, your teenage kids or other people can get into it, and or other people that are having, you know, maybe a mental health emergency and they decide to take everything in the cabinet, which I've seen a lot of as an emergency physician. Stephen Maher with Mayo Clinic says flushing pills is also common, but it can have devastating environmental effects. That can actually cause problems going through the, you know, sewage treatment plant and, and, and can actually get into the groundwater, into the soil. On Saturday, the Drug Enforcement Administration is hosting National Prescription Drug Take Back Day. People can drop off unused or expired medications with no questions asked for free and safe disposal. That includes prescription drugs, over-the-counter medications, ointments, patches, creams, inhalers and vials, pet medications, and non-aerosol medicine. Type in your zip code and address, and you can find several locations where they're willing to take it back, usually at like police departments or pharmacies. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither.